Hello, and welcome to James's C++ tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to be dealing with functions. Functions are widely used in computer programming because <coughs> they allow you to make a function with in instructions and then reuse that again and again whenever necessary, as opposed to rewriting lines and lines of code over and over again. So in today's program, it's a pretty easy one. We're going to be asking the user for a numerical score, and then the user is going to enter a score, and the computer will output the equivalent letter grade. So I'm going to run this real quick to show you what this looks like. And here we go. Enter a score, 95, because we're straight-A students. The computer puts back A. So we know that this works right, and we know this is how it works. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is take out the instructions of the function and get them out of main. So we're going to copy these, delete it, get it out of that main system. We're going to main function. We're going to clean this up and throw this down here. So here are the instructions. Obviously, you're getting some errors because it doesn't know what's going on. It's freaking out. It's not inside the main function. So we need to name this function. And when naming a function, you also need to include the return data type. Now today we're just dealing with void functions. So data type is going to be void. When dealing with value returning functions, you know, if you're returning a number, your return is your return data type is going to be an integer or if you're returning a string, obviously it's going to be a string. But today we're just dealing with void function. So your data type is going to be void. Next, you're going to name the function. So as we're just printing a grade for the user, we're going to just call this function print grade. And then we're going to throw the parentheses as a part of the format. And we also need opening brackets before the function body. And this is our function body. Again, the function body is contains the instructions for performing the functions assigned task. So we need a brace in front and then a closing brace to close it all up. So now it's not recognizing the score, um, but we're going to throw in the parentheses the parameters. And the parameters is any additional information the function needs in order to work. So down here we're going to use the data type double and the variable score as we need that to run this program. We need that information to give to the computer so that they know what's being evaluated in this program. So in order to use this function, we can't run this yet because this function's outside of the main function and we need everything inside the main function. So what we'll do is we'll throw it up here. We'll say and when you put a, when you use a function in the main program, you it's called calling a function or invoking a function. You do not need to return, you do not need to indicate the return data type. So we're just gonna throw down the name of the function, which is print grade. And then also in the parameters, the variable that is being passed through. So we got that, and still this isn't going to work yet, because the way computer programs work in C++, they run from top to bottom. So it's going to come up here, it's going to go to your main function, it's going to see that you're initializing a variable called score, it's going to ask the user for a score, and then it's going to take the score from them. But it's not going to know what to do after that, because it gets down to this print grade score, and the computer's like, well, I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that before. Is this a function? Is it, are we trying to declare a variable? What is that? And in order to call this stuff down here, your function body, you actually need what is called a function prototype. And that's going to go above the main function. And that way, when it runs through, it's going to say, oh, we need, we got this variable, we got this function called print grade. That's what we need. We need to jump out of main to go get it. So when calling a prototype, when declaring a prototype function, we're going to 
it's very similar to your actual function header on your original function. So we're going to copy this. And we will throw it up here in the top of main. And we do not need the actual variable. We just need the return data type. And like I said before, it's going to be double because we're dealing with numbers. And we're going to throw a semicolon on the end of that. So basically now, I'm going to explain this logic before we run this. Now when the computer goes through the program, it'll see this void print grade. It recognizes it as a function. And so when it gets to the print grade, when it's being called in the main program, it says, oh, that's right. We got a void, we got a void function, a print grade function that we got to run through in order to, to get this, evaluate this. And then it runs down to the function body. And that's how that works. And we're going to fancy this up a little bit and we'll say the grade is just to make it a little nicer, I guess. Grade is. And we're going to run this program and see what we get. So again, same program, enter a score. Let's say we got a 97. We did even better on the last test. Again, they're going to tell you the grade is A. And we'll run this again just to show you what the opposite looks like. The kids in the back of the class getting 50s. and The grade is F. So we know that this program works. And basically, anytime we want to use the print grade function, throughout our program, which might be thousands and thousands of lines of code, we just say print grade, and then we don't have to actually type up the code again. We have it all right here. The computer knows what it is because of the prototype up here. Um, and that's basically it for a void function. Thank you.